Hello everyone, I'm Rodney from 3GameMan.com and today I'm looking at another AIO or all-in-one cooler from SwiftTech. They've released the H220X, the H240X, and now the H140X if you're looking for something, you know, a little bit smaller. Again, the packaging on this is just beautiful, showing you the product plus all of its capabilities. Now let's open up and see what's inside. Okay, let's see what's included. First of all, it's packaged very well. It has this piece of styrofoam at the top. You know, a lot of these products these days come in this environmentally friendly packaging material. It's good. I guess we're saving the planet by doing that. These are little cover plates. I'll show you what that's all about a little later on. They go on top of the water block. Pretty fancy. This is a PWM or pulse width modulation splitter. I'll go over that a little later on. All materials needed for installing it on just about every current socket, AMD and Intel that's out there. A tube, a full tube of their Tim Mate thermal compound, excellent thermal compound, a quick installation guide, and this beauty, the AIO itself. Now, Let's have a closer look. They have some protective plastic here on the window as well as on top of the water block, you know, to prevent scratches and that type of stuff. Now this is basically a reduced version of the, you know, H240 and the H220. It's you know, fairly compact. You've got a 140 millimeter rad, a 140 millimeter fan. The pump's the same though, and the water block is the same. Tubes are the same. So it is in essence kind of the same, except it's in a neat, tiny, smaller package. Great for cases where you can't fit a, you know, 220 or a 240 in. So let me draw your attention to this PWM splitter. Now this is a godsend in my opinion, because it gives you you the ability to transform one PWM fan header that's on your motherboard into eight and it's powered by a SATA connector. You've got these caps here you take off to connect all of the four pin fans as well. You can kind of stick this where you want it. Oh, and if you don't want to stick it, well, they include bolts, washers, and nuts, so you can mount it where you like. Now these ALCs, or Advanced Liquid Coolers, also known as AIOs, all in one coolers, are completely sealed. So there's no maintenance at all required, and really, that's what makes them so attractive. I remember back in the day, well, still, you can buy, of course, custom water cooling kits where you have to go ahead and do some research and pick out, you know, the fans you want, the radiator, the pump, the tubes, the water blocker, water blocks, etc. That kind of is more interesting and you know the performance is better with a custom water cooling kit. However, that's typically speaking because this is super impressive. It has a very robust pump which I'll go over a little later on and a very amazing water block as well. But typically, you know, these all-in-one coolers take the guesswork out of it completely they are you know completely configured and you know really no extra installation is required and of course by combining the water block the pump the reservoir and radiator together it reduces that traditional four component loop into just one component which substantially decreases the space required for installation and as i mentioned it really really simplifies the installation process over traditional water cooling kits now this aio cooler is a little different than typical sealed all-in-one liquid coolers that are out there because it isn't really sealed and I'll show you what I mean by that in just a minute. Think of this as a cross between a sealed AIO and a traditional water cooling kit. It's pretty darn hardcore. Now let me go through the different components. They include a very fancy and I do mean fancy. I love these fans. This is a SwiftTech 140 millimeter by 140 by 25. I have a few of these fans in my system. Excellent. Can't say enough about them. Brilliant fans. The airflow on this is 35 to 90 CFMs. The noise level varies between around 8 to 29 decibels. Of course, the voltage on this is 12 volts. It has a four pin connector 
and it has as well a sleeved lead. Now notice how the fan is actually pre-installed on this and it's designed to pull in cool air from outside the case. Next let's have a look at the radiator. This is a copper rad, 140 millimeter, so it should fit in just about every mid and full tower case that's on the market, even some micro ATX cases. As long as the case has a 140 millimeter fan, this should work, but the overall dimension on this is 150 by 140 by 115 millimeters. Now, included in this whole unit here, you have the fan, the Helix fan, which I love so much. You have the radiator. You also have a kind of like a reservoir you can see through. I'll show you that in just a minute, as well as this wonderful MCP 30 pump. This thing is insane, and actually, you can get this for, you know, traditional water cooling setups, perfect pump. It is six watts, very important. A lot of these AIOs, you know, are below one watt. So this will move a lot of liquid through the system, no problem whatsoever. It is, of course, a 12 volt pump. And I will list on the screen some more details about the pump. Now, notice, how the connections here swivel and they have these fittings which are metal screws in them pretty robust you could be sure that this is never ever going to disconnect look at that just gorgeous same thing here is happening on the connections for the water block they swivel and the same connectors so Perfect setup. Let's go back to the pump here for a second. For power, you have a SATA connector and as well a four pin lead. Now there's also another lead in here and this is for powering the LED that's just on the inside. Yes, you can actually see the liquid moving around inside. Let me plug it in and let's have a look. And this is what it looks like. Pretty darn cool, right? Now the camera might be picking this up as a shade of blue, but it's not. It's actually white LEDs just on the inside here, illuminating all the liquid inside. There is a little level on the right side and as well a fill cap. So when it gets low, you just fill it up. And that's going back to what I was saying. This isn't, in fact, a sealed unit. I mean, you can add extra tubes, extra water blocks to this, no problem whatsoever, because you do have that very robust pump included. The tubes that they include are super flexible, but durable. They measure in at 5 8 by 3 8 or 16 by 11 millimeters. And the system itself, well, it's filled with non-toxic coolant. There are so many quality components in this all-in-one liquid cooler and it doesn't stop here at the water block. Instead, this is an Apogee XL water block. You will not find this on any other all-in-one liquid cooler that is out there. Super impressive and as well, you can swap out this top part right here, actually underneath. You can take this top part off you can put, you know, one of these cutter plates on there. You've got a few of them, the blue ones installed already. I love blue, so that's good. I wouldn't need to swap it out. And this glows like nobody's business. And to power the LED, it comes with a three pin connector. Okay, so let's have a look at the LED. It is off. It is on. Ooh, wow, look at that, eh? Beautiful. Turn it off, kind of fades out. And let me turn it on. Let's go through the dimensions because maybe you're thinking about putting this in a smaller case, like a small form factor case. I think if you're installing this in a mid or full tower case, there should be no problem whatsoever. The fan itself is 25 millimeters or one inch. And from the top of the rad to the side here of the pump, it is 89.7 millimeters. And that's around three and a half inches. If I swing this around to the front here, you've got a height dimension from here to here, 150 millimeters. Width is 140 millimeters. Note though that the little cap at the top is two millimeters high. Now let's have a listen to the pump and the fan. I'll start the pump first. And now with the fan connected as well. Remember the fan is at full speed.
Now, if you're looking for a super cheap all-in-one liquid cooler that's sealed, this is probably not going to be it, and you'll probably shop somewhere else. However, if you're looking for the best all-in-one liquid cooler, that will give you the option to add to it, like for example, another water block, definitely the option to go with. Sure, you might pay a little bit more, but in the end, you will thank yourself for it. You've got, from this end to the other, the fan, a Helix fan, incredible fan. You've got in this unit, the kind of like the reservoir, get the cap at the top, you can refill it when you need to as well. A glorious MCP 36 watt pump. And from there, tubes, flexible, very durable. And you've got this beautiful Apogee XL water block that comes with these plates so you can customize it depending upon what color that you actually like. Maybe this isn't for everyone, but personally, if I was recommending a 140 AIO, I would recommend this. Overall, it is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.